Hi, I'm Mark Numbers with Evermark Property Solutions. Today, we are going to be fixing a small hole in one of these fiberglass tubs. Um, some tubs are porcelain. This is actually a fiberglass system, and I'll show you how to fix it. All right, so this is the hole. It, you can see by my finger, it's about the size of a dime. So it's not really big. And you can see that there's some fiberglass backing. This is the kit that we're gonna use today. This is from, um, from Lowe's. And I tried Home Depot, they didn't have this exact kit. They have some other kits for like a porcelain tub and, and refinishing, but this is specific for plastic or fiberglass. And this is what comes in the kit. You've got a little cleaning alcohol pad. And, uh, and then this is the actual paste. It comes in white and it comes in bone, which is kind of an almond color. Since our tub is white, we're using that today. And uh, this is a hardener, kind of a, kind of a Bondo deal. Um, this is just a stirring stick and then this is some polishing paste after we use, um, after we sand it down to some of the sandpaper. It's really high grit, so 400 and uh, 600 grit. And so um, that'll like get it to where we can actually polish it and move on from there. If this hole was bigger, like if I had like a quarter size or even bigger than that, I would probably use some of this fiberglass, um, this cloth, and then obviously you're gonna wanna use some fiberglass resin and hardener. Bondo makes this and I like using that. Um, and so uh, since the hole is so small, I'm gonna hold off on using this today, but that's something that you may wanna use if the hole is, is much larger. On projects like these, I, used, I like to do a few things, just extra to, to make sure cleanup's easier and uh, just to make it look a little bit better. One thing I, I use a lot is this painter tape, obviously not painting, but uh, it will help with cleanup. And you, I don't wanna use masking tape because it doesn't remove from this as, as much. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just create a square around this spot. So when I sand, I'm not, I'm not making it look weird and um, I can stay within this area. And then I can pull this off when I'm almost done and ready to polish this. Sometimes I'll go a little bit wider. So I'll do two layers of tape just so that I have um, some space to sand and work around that. Now that I've got this taped off, I'm gonna clean it off and prep it for putting um, a layer of that first epoxy stuff on. All right, so I'm just gonna poke a little hole in the top of this hardener. Be careful, don't cut yourself. Okay, the instructions say that you wanna put about half of this and just use an extra piece of cardboard or I just use the back of a piece of sandpaper. It says empty half of the jar. And for about half of the jar that you use, you want four to six drops of that hardener. If it's warmer than 80 degrees, like if it's in a hot place, you might wanna just use like three drops. The warmer it is, the faster it will set up. So since I'm in a, I'm like in a 70 degree area, I'm gonna use four drops here. It'll just harden faster. This smells like Bondo. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. Put the lid back on this. And this is a chemical reaction. So I'm gonna mix this up really well. I'm trying to get it as even as possible. All right, now that we're mixed up really well, I'm gonna apply this with this stick right in here, and I wanna get that inside the hole really well. I'm gonna push that in there. And the kit only comes with the stick, but I, I got a, an extra plastic little um, putty knife and you want plastic the metal you don't want metal because it might scratch your tub a little bit extra but what I'm gonna do is 
I'm just going to smooth this out and I'm going to leave it just a little bit on the high side because I want to be able to sand this down a little bit. So I'm going to knock this down. Get a little bit more here. I'm not going to push it all the way down because I want to be able to sand something. Okay, since I went on this tape, I'm actually going to tape take the, some of this off because I don't want this tape to get stuck on. And I'm going to let this set up for about one to three hours. And you can start sanding. All right, so we have applied the epoxy. It's hard. We're about um, two hours later. That kit says you want to wait one to three hours and it's plenty hard. So I reapplied this tape because what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go through the sequence of first starting with the 400 grit and then I'm gonna go with the 600 grit and then um, it says polish it off. I'll take the tape off and polish it off. I reapplied this tape so that when I sand I'm not beating up any of the extra until I get down to the final polish. And um, so we'll show you the finished product in a few minutes. Final sanding, um, do it wet sanding. So just get your um, sandpaper wet and make sure it stays wet while you sand and that will help polish it better. This probably works like waxing a car. It just buffs it out and shines it up. There you have it, nice and smooth, shiny. I buffed that out. I mean, you can tell a different color, but at least you don't have a hole and it's sealed really nice. So that'll be good for years and years.